Man, the excitement surrounding AMC stock never ceases to amaze me. I did a video yesterday kind of asking what we thought the, the price would be during a short squeeze, how high the price could actually go, and trust me, the answers varied greatly. I was seeing from $100 all the way up to above $100,000 per share. So look, I, you know, let's talk in this video a little bit about how high I think the price could actually go. What would be the absolute best case scenario in a short squeeze? Let's also address the new, you know, people think there's a new rule coming out with the SEC that's going to trigger a short squeeze on April 22nd. So let's talk about that and let's, let's address fear, uncertainty, and doubt because look, guys, I'm going to put it out there. A lot of people are confusing, uh, you know, a reality check with spreading fear or spreading doubt and so on and so forth. So let's talk about all of that in this video. If it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up everybody, I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2021 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We're here every single day and we're growing our portfolios together. All right, AMC stock, let's discuss it. Let's start off, let's talk a little bit about fear, uncertainty, and doubt right now, okay? Now let me just throw something out there. If you truly believe in something, I mean, it, it is, it's ingrained in you. You know it to be a fact. It doesn't matter what I say. It doesn't matter what your friends say. It doesn't matter what anybody says. They can't change your mind and they can't tell you any different. There will be no fear. There will be no uncertainty and there will be no doubt. Now, if you already have those seeds planted in you that are kind of going to, you know, ah, well, maybe I really don't believe in this. Dude that's when the doubt and that's when the fear and that's when the uncertainty come into play. So if any of you think that, you know, me talking up here is spreading fear or spreading doubt or spreading uncertainty, I think I would take a look at, you know, at yourself and really think what you believe in. Because if you believe in something, nobody can tell you otherwise. All right, guys. So with that being said, these videos, I'm not spreading fear. I'm not spreading doubt because look, I believe that a short squeeze can happen absolutely but i don't want any of you to be left out on the way now when we see prices like a hundred thousand dollars per share i guys i hope you know that a hundred thousand dollars per share is not going to happen in amc stock okay we'll go over a few numbers here we'll talk about it but look if you're waiting for a hundred thousand dollars to share you know a lot of people say a hundred thousand or you know i'm taking them to the grave yeah, well, unfortunately, I know where you're probably going to be taking those shares. So let's keep that in mind. Let's stay realistic because I want every single one of us to make as much money as possible on this movement. Okay, I have no problem taking money from hedge funds. Absolutely no problem taking money from them. Okay, that's, I mean, it, does it get any better than that? Absolutely not. You know, taking money from you is a different story than taking money from a hedge fund. Okay, so let's go over this new rule or this new regulation that a lot of people think is coming out and I'll link it down in the description below so you can read the whole thing. But this is a staff statement on fully paid lending. Now, I'll just summarize it and then I'll read a very important uh, excerpt from this article or from this statement here so that we know and we don't rely too much on this date of April 22nd because it it's not going to trigger a squeeze. I'll get that right out right off the bat. I'll just I'll, I'll get that out there right now so that nobody's expecting a treat or a squeeze to be triggered on April 22nd. So what they're saying here is the the staff at the SEC is recommending that uh, broker dealers have as much funds on hand as they have lended out in shares so that they would be able to cover all of those shares. And this is completely a staff recommendation. You can read the full thing here, but it says, and I'll, you know, I'll, I'll just say right here, staff's letter stated that the staff would not recommend enforcement action to the commission regarding these programs for six months from the issuance of this letter or until April 22nd, 2021 to give the firms time to come into compliance with the new rule. Okay, now let's look at this statement because it's very critical that we know how it's worded. The staff is not going to recommend enforcement action to the commission until April 22nd. So all that's going to happen on April 22nd is the recommendation of enforcement of this new rule. It's not, 
you know, once April 22nd comes into play, enforcement is not going to be in place. You know, you can read down through there and, and say that the SEC doesn't grant this, you know, denied or accepted at this time. It's going to be recommended on April 22nd. And if we know anything about the government, nothing happens fast. So if they recommend enforcement on April 22nd, do not expect enforcement to be in place on April 22nd. Okay, it's just not going to happen. Nothing happens overnight, and it will take a while. Now, this could this could be something great that could trigger a short squeeze over the long term if that enforcement comes into play, and then we have to wonder, you know, how long down the road it'll actually get approved. So definitely keep that in mind moving forward. But please do not expect a short squeeze to happen. Nobody, guys, nobody can predict when the short squeeze will happen. Okay, it's just it can't be done. And there's a lot of PhDs out there and a lot of smart guys who can do the math. But let's talk about why it really can't be predicted. Okay, now a short squeeze and a margin call comes into play for a couple reasons. It's risk aversion. There's there's risks, risk analysts out there all over the place. And that is what triggers a margin call when the risk can no longer be handled by the lenders and by the banks and by the people who are, who are, are lending out these shares and lending out the money. Right. And it's all risk analysis. It doesn't have to to you know reach a certain price before it's triggered. As long as the analysts out there believe the risk is okay, it doesn't have to hit a certain date before the short squeeze is triggered, as long as analysts and the banks are willing to take on that risk. Okay, now that's the most important thing. And I'll bring it right back, you know, to the share dilution and all of that because it's a huge, it's a bigger deal than a lot of people out there are saying. And that's where I think a lot of the fear, uncertainty, and doubt these people think that I'm spreading is coming into play. But look, guys, you give anybody a glimmer of hope, and they can hold on. Once you take a man's hope, he's done for. If he's got hope in tomorrow or he's got hope in a future date, he can keep on going. And man, I'll tell you, you can survive through absolutely anything if you have hope. And, and you know, numbers don't lie. This is true, but it's a numbers game, right? And, and these banks, these hedge funds, they know that. And if they've got any glimmer of hope, that's where the risk aversion comes into place. So the margin call comes when you can no longer uh, handle that risk. So as long as you can handle that risk, as long as there's that light at the end of the tunnel or that hope on the horizon, they're going to be okay because they know they can make it through. So definitely keep that in mind, especially when you're going and, and you know thinking about whatever you guys want to vote in.